back to Some Offense Intended. I'm Jeremy Robinson. I'm Mike Mick. Episode 99 today. Well, and 100, but that's the next one. Yeah. Uh, so feedback about the 30-minute episodes, I've heard good things. People like, like it's, it? It's more digestible. It's like, oh, you don't have to block off so much time and do whatever. It's like, oh, well, oh, there's only like five minutes left. I can listen to the whole thing mm-hmm. instead of like set aside a whole hour because a lot of people like dedicate podcast time instead of like while they're working or while they're doing whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Cause I, I do pot when I do podcasts, I do it usually at work. Yeah. Or like what I used to do is like when I was driving or at work. So yeah, either one is, it doesn't have to be like at a stopping point, but there's a lot of people that like, they'll wait till a song ends before they turn the car off. I'll just shut the car off. I don't care. Yeah. Me too. Like rarely if it's one of my favorite songs, which I can't name off the top of my head, mm-hmm. but if it's one of my favorite songs, like, I'll listen to the whole thing, but it's a rare occasion. Well, there's a podcast that we both been, we both listen to from time to time, and um, there was like a point where they were telling a story. And yeah, I got I'll, to work, and I, I I wanted to hear the end of the story, so I did wait. That's that's like stopping a TV show or a movie, though. Like if you have to go do something, of like mm-hmm. you're not going to stop at mid scene. You're like, okay, well, I have to wait till this scene's over. Yeah, I feel like that's how that works, and yeah. a lot of I don't know, like a, a lot of how we talk, it's not really like breaks in it. Yeah, but I just wanted to hear the end of it because I was like, I can't, I, I can't just that that is be too long of a wait to actually. Yeah. But lately, I've been listening to audiobooks. Yeah, and um, still on all the Star Wars ones. Well, uh, it was funny because I I saw a Star Wars one that I wanted to get, and I was like, and I went to go get it, and it's like pre order. I'm like, fuck you. I remember you telling me that, and I didn't like, even. I'm not going to spend my credits on a pre order. And then I looked at it. I didn't even um. I went back to it. I was like, I'm curious what, what date does it come out since it is a pre-order? And this was on like the fifth that I looked on it and it came out the ninth. I'm like, that I can do. I can wait till yeah. the ninth. So I pre-ordered it, but I still have a one that I already started. So I'll wait. Well, speaking of Star Wars, I found you some shirts. Oh, that's awesome. Show it to them first. That is awesome. I like that shirt a lot. So it's the Star Wars X-Wing Starfighter like diagram. Oh, that is great. Thank you. And that is awesome. This one. That's <laughs> Baby Yoda. I do like that. Mike hates it when people call it Baby Yoda. Yeah. Just like Happy Friday. Uh in a in the little Thank you. egg pod thing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Found them at Coles and they were at a price that I was like, well, I don't really care wearing all kinds of shirts anymore because I have so fucking many shirts now. Yeah, me like, too. I'll, and they have Mike's size in those two. I'm like, I'll get them. Thank you. I appreciate I it. I would have got another like seven, but they didn't have your size. <laughs> they, they do have a lot of good shirts there. The Cole yeah. surprisingly has very, very good shirts. And they have, that's what, if I have to do Amazon returns, 100% I do the Cole's drop off. If I the, can, you yeah. got an extra 15 or 20% off. Well, sometimes they just give you Cole's cash. I don't think I've gotten that. I got like five dollars Coast Cash. That's just that's five dollars off whatever you're buying though. Yeah. The other day, yeah. Well, and then I'll go look at all the clearance racks because yeah. they have a clearance area like per department. So I'll go look at like the housewares. I'll go look at shoes. I'll go look at like the long. Uh... I just woke up from a nap recently, so my brain still isn't fully firing. Uh, the tall and the long and tall area. Yeah. Which is where I found my hoodies. I got two more hoodies that were the same. Like the same build and everything. Yeah. So now I have the maroon and black one. I have a solid gray and a solid black. And they're all nice. fucking amazingly comfortable. That's good. Um, and then I'll go look at like the sports area and then the t-shirt area mm. where they have like jeans and everything too. And you like get a pair of jeans for like $9. Yeah. Sometimes you get good prices on jeans there. So yeah. No, it's fucking And then if you great. get the $5 Kohl's cash, that $9 turns into $4. Yeah. Or is it just the 15%, 20% off? I think it. Recently, it's been 15, but it used to be an alternating, like 15, 20. So, huh. So, I haven't given any um, downtown updates in a while. You haven't. Since since the weather's been getting better, people are out more and and yelling. And recently, somebody was just walking along just singing. Just really oh, that's loud. That's pleasant. Just, um, no. <laughs> just walking along just singing super loud. And I mean, it was better than than yelling, threatening. And what was the song? I don't even know. I couldn't really make out the words very well. Uh, 
So it wasn't pleasant. No. So, uh, but in the morning, like late, late, I decided to go down to my mailbox and check the mail. And I hear this loud voice outside. So I open up the door, I go to my mailbox, and I hear this person saying, go back, go back now. And then it would save your soul and go back. Go back to what? I don't know. And then I hear, go back, motherfucker. I'm like, what the f- <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't really see the woman, but uh-huh. I could tell it was a woman's voice. Yeah, but I've heard some interesting You just yelling. assume their gender. Yeah, well... I assigned a gender, yeah. I, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for assigning gender. I did hear somebody else of unknown gender yelling, <laughs> <laughs> yelling some shit one day. And he was saying, he was calling somebody an asshole. I okay, was going to kick his ass. Um, how he was going to bang his girlfriend in front of him. Some, I, I was like, that's, that's some good family wholesomeness right there. Wow. Yeah, so... Downtown is back to normal now that the weather's gotten better. That's comforting, I think. When there's snow and ice and shit, people aren't out there yelling as much. You should buy a fucking snowblower, like one of the fake snow machines, yeah. and just put it on top of your building. So you just keep the area around your building coated in snow. You'll be good. You'd be surprised. I was looking at the um, the crime map. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say you were looking at snow machine prices. Like, <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I will be now. But no, the the crime map around my building isn't as bad as you might think it would have been. Wow. Yeah. Is it because they wait till they get further away to arrest them? I think so. To I don't boost know. the stats? Possibly. I mean, that's, cops do that a lot with like work zones. Like they'll, they're chasing somebody that's speeding or like they'll wait to light them up till it's right inside a work zone. Oh, yeah, I know. So that the fines doubled. And it's like, that's not where you lit me up. That's not where you stopped me. Yeah, I've, um, they do that shit all the time. I've gotten pulled over in a uh, or they'll light construction you up, zone. They'll yeah. light you up right outside of a school zone and try to claim it was in the school zone that they pulled you over. It's yeah. Like, no, the fuck it wasn't. I remember I was talking to a friend and we were talking about tickets and stuff. And he's, I, he, we were talking about construction zones. And he's, yeah, they're just bluffing. They're not, I'm like, I assure you, they are not bluffing. They will double that ticket. They, <laughs> I got a sizable ticket for speeding in a construction zone. How fast were you going? Well, I was allegedly. going. Allegedly. Allegedly, I was going uh, 55 and a 35. That's not not awful. Well, but he, he knocked it down to, uh, he gave me the ticket for 45 and 35 instead of the 55. I don't understand how, like, oh, we have discretion. And you're like, oh, I clocked you going 90, but I'm only going to give you a ticket for going 70 and a 65. Like, okay, then just use your discretion and throw the ticket away. Yeah. Just use the discretion and just be like, hey, I don't, slow down some. Yeah, I don't understand why. I won't, but just you can say it. It'll make us feel better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so one thing I wanted to bring up, like, close to the beginning, because we were talking about it, I think it was last episode, of we were talking about Dollar Tree. Yeah. So it's amusing. It's it sucks, but it's amusing that we had just talked about Dollar Tree going yeah. to like raising their cap from I think it was like a dollar like a year or two ago to the raise it to five and now they raised it to seven within like six months. Yeah. Ninety nine cent stores are all closing. All. Oh wow. I remember there was a ninety nine cent store in Omaha that closed. So ninety nine cent stores I don't think have that I've seen have ever been they were at a one dollar. Time. They literally at one time they were a dollar. Okay. And some things were like five for a dollar. Because I mean, even like seven years ago, like in Vegas, mm-hmm. like a year or two before I came up here, like you go to the 99 cent store, it's like a small grocery store kind of mm-hmm. like where they have almost everything. And it was, I think it was capped at like $10. Like you could find stuff from a dollar or like 50 cents all the way up to $10. But apparently like this, it might've been the, the federal wage hike like the minimum federal wage hike that they're trying to push yeah push them out and now they they announced all their stores are closing there was a uh, a pizza place that closed all their locations in california i can't wow. remember which one it was but there was a pizza place it's like nope we're not doing it that's uh i read an article that the mcdonald's there's a mcdonald's franchisee in cali that says like i've already increased my prices like 10 or 15% across the past six months. 
I can't charge twenty dollars for a happy meal. When he was talking about yeah. the fucking the minimum wage increase. Like that's fucking what like a franchisee saying that he doesn't want to do it. Like that's impressive. Yeah. The, the, I just saw an ad. I'm not an ad, but I just saw a TikTok video yesterday where the guy is at a at a he's at an Uber version of a Burger King or some kind of fast food restaurant. An and, Uber version. Yeah, he's like, "Welcome to Uber King." Oh, okay. And the guy is ordering food, and he's like, "I'll take a che- you know cheeseburger, or whatever." And he's like, "All right, that'll be a dollar." Oh, five dollars. Ten. <laughs> he's like, "What do you mean? Why does it keep going? Up? That'll be twenty five dollars." He's like, fine, here, just take it so I can, so it doesn't go up any higher. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then he's like, um, your food's ready. Like, Where's that? Like, oh, you, you, it's not. Oh, sorry. It's not over here. Um, you're going to have to walk around and find it. Um, if you don't find it in five minutes, though, so we're going to cancel your order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That's pretty accurate recently. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was a good video. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, well, uh, I also, I made a TikTok before this. We were going to do, like, a TikTok live uh, to do, like, the 99th, 100th, 100th episode and, like, behind the scenes and, like, record the whole time and, like, kind of just leave them over there doing TikTok live and not interact, like, during and then, like, interact before, middle, and after everything. Yeah. And typically the TikTok live threshold is 100 but it's not a hard cap it's a weird like yeah i don't know it's like old video game achievements that are bugged like uh on gears of war the uh that achievement name is gone but you had to get like a hundred thousand kills in multiplayer yeah and for some people it was bugged like some people had unlocked it for most people it unlocked it a hundred thousand some people it unlocked it like a hundred and ten thousand well that's bullshit some people it was like four or five hundred thousand to in order to get it. That's crazy. Like think I think mine was like a hundred thousand two hundred. Like mine was very close to where it should be. But I feel like it's like that. Like it's a a ranging it might be like how often you post, how many interactions you have, like a mix of several different things. What I'm trying to get at is we're at 137 ish followers on TikTok. Yeah. And that's still not broken over the threshold for being able to do TikTok lives on the Some Offense Intended account. So if you could, uh, and you're not already, go like and follow, subscribe, whatever it's called on TikTok. I think it's follow. Uh, and share it so that we can break over the, the threshold and we can start doing like behind the scenes stuff because I think that would be an interesting part. Yes. And on the topic of behind the scenes, we found, Mike found, it sounds familiar. I, I want to say that we brushed over it when we were originally looking for like the video chop up things of like how yeah. to make shorts. Cause the name sounds really familiar. So we found a new platform that we're going to use. Um, Mike so showed far, me last really week. Good. Yeah. And we uploaded, uh, one of the hour, like the old episodes and it chopped it up into like 14 shorts. Yeah. Like some of them as short as like 20 something seconds. Some as long as like 50 something seconds. So it's good for, like whatever platform, some of the longer, like the 50 seconds would do, I think, well on YouTube when some of the like 15, 20 seconds would do well on TikTok and Facebook. Yeah. And it does it all automatically. It like reframes. We don't have to do anything special like we did on the other platform where I have to draw the box around me, box around Mike, and like try to position it. And then it doesn't do everything well. It doesn't look perfect. And this one actually does like the floating captions where they light up like as we talk kind of thing too. Yeah. So it's, it looks super, yeah, it, really it looks good. fucking dope. Um, so I'm going to do that subscription tonight and they actually have something set up in it to where it can post for you to, I think most different social media accounts. I'd have to look at that again. Yeah. Um, so that should help boost a lot of stuff. Because we can do that. Like, so we'll record and then maybe spend like an hour or two doing fucking whatever. Yeah. And that should help, I think, a lot with everything. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I think that's it for like behind the scenes Yeah. stuff. I mean. I just had to put the room back together. My little sisters came to visit, so. I, I had to pick up a Dr. Pepper like usual. I repurposed the room and the table was downstairs. There was a bed right here. 
Somebody, uh, somebody at work, speaking of, of Dr. Pepper and T-shirts, apparently ordered me a T-shirt as well, which I will debut on here as soon as I get it. It's a Dr. Pepper-related T-shirt. Is it a regular Dr. Pepper T-shirt? No, I've already had one that was on here. Okay. Well, I'm, I know, but if somebody's, oh, I got you a T-shirt, it's Dr. Pepper, and it's just a regular fucking... No, this is this is this okay. is a good one. It has something set on it, which nice. is very appropriate. So I'm just letting people know it will be happening soon. Nice. And I did want to mention I did see something as I got here. Um, I, I've talked about replica students, uh, sneakers before. Yeah. Well, um, there's a forum on Reddit where people can go on and show the the pictures that they get from the company who's going to sell them their reps. And people can look at it and go, oh, no, that swoosh is wrong or the color is slightly wrong, something. And they can change it. And then they can be like, no, I don't. They can, uh, they, they, they can decline it and ask for a different pair from, hmm. from the company. Well, today I saw somebody put in a picture of the Trump shoes to see if those are. <laughs> so apparently they have Trump replicas out wow. there. Wow. How much are they? Did you look? I didn't look. I didn't look them up. I just like there's because there's different brands to different companies to buy them from. Like one of them was High Coco, and they don't they changed their name. But I thought it was interesting that there was already reps. I mean, not already. Let's see if I can find some. See how much they are. AliExpress for twenty eight dollars. Yeah, I wouldn't. If I were to try to buy reps, I wouldn't go to AliExpress. Sporty slip ons for a hundred. There's some on eBay for two forty. I mean, it depends. AliExpress can have some unveils four hundred dollar branded shoes. Where to buy? I wonder how much they are on StockX if they've come down at all. I mean, dep- I don't know. US Men twelve. That might be worth buying a set just to see how they are with it at thirty fucking dollars. Yeah. The shipping's thirty, so it'd be sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, yeah. Wonder how much it is on StockX. I've never actually looked. I should have. I have Supreme Air Foam Posit ones. What? No, thank you. Ew. Like I said, no, thank you. That looks fucking gross. Yeah, it's hideous. I don't like that shoe at all. That is awful. Goes to show that not just just because it's Nike doesn't mean I'm gonna jump on board. And you were saying the, uh, a lot of the, what's it called? The releases on sneakers on the Nike app haven't so been selling, selling out, right? Out. Like there was one pair I was tempted to get that I didn't get that they're still available. And it's been a few weeks now. I searched Never Surrender and it doesn't have anything. Yeah. They're, they're not on StockX. At all. Yeah, I just typed Trump sneakers on the app, and it's got a whole lot of things, but not that. I just typed Trump, and there's nothing in shoes. Wow. I typed, typed Trump, and then it came up as a category, sneakers. That's weird. Why isn't there anything on StockX? I don't know. So how can you verify they're real if they're not on StockX? eBay. I mean, eBay does have, like, a, a genuine... I have a verification also. Yeah, but never know. Multiple sizes. Let me just look at this real quick, and I'll jump off of this. Uh, yeah, they're going. I mean, who knows if any of these are real? Because like some are two forty, some are one eighty, some are seventy. Yeah, those should be the fucking knockoffs for sure. On um. These shoes come with box and are highest of quality. Uh, Trump, uh, Trump on eBay. I see one for four thirty two fifty, and one for seventy seven to eighty. Yeah. Ships out next day. Yeah. So if StockX isn't doing anything new, twenty twenty four never surrender inspired. That's a clever way to get around. He said they're inspired. He didn't claim that they were the originals. Well done. And he's selling them for four hundred dollars. Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll maybe do something about that. When I saw, um, it was funny when I when I was on uh, 
online one day and it said something about Trump at sneaker con. It was before I knew he had shoes. I'm like, yeah. wait, what's he doing at sneaker con? That's more for me than him, I would thought. Or uh, Michelle Obama. That's how I would have figured her to go. Cause, <laughs> yeah, she once she once took when um, Obama was first in office. She took Air Force One to London to pick up a an expensive pair of shoes. People got very mad at her. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I people, mean, I knew I knew they often had like just willy nilly trips and whatever, but I never fucking yeah. what was on this itinerary. I don't care. Get a pair of shoes and come back. That was it. That was her entire itinerary. That's wild. I don't know. If, have you ever seen the video of um, uh, Joan Rivers? She's walking to an apartment and, and uh, um, the paparazzi are asking her, asking her questions. And she turns and she says, uh, you know about Michelle. And everybody's like, what? And she's like, everybody knows she's trans. I have not seen that. <laughs> I saw Joe Rogan talking about it one day. Well, I mean, there's like, that's, that's not even a far rabbit hole to go down. I just thought there was- is a massive massive like kind of like the flat earth thing yeah of you go like there's full websites dedicated to like old pictures of michelle obama walking across whatever stage and you see under extra under the clothing yeah yeah, an extra something yeah something not flat yeah and then like (laughs) some older pictures and like there was like the full backstory on it too of like Obama in college had a best friend named Michael and Michael was not seen after like three or four years after they graduated college, right around when Obama married when when Barack married Michelle. Oh, right. Yeah. And there's been several times of like hot mics of Barack saying Michael on stage or like what I don't could any of it could be doctored for whatever, but it's a, it's a, if you have like anywhere from five to five minutes to like five hours, depending on your level of self-control of rabbit hole digging. Yeah. Check it out and comment back on uh, what you find because that's, I, I, that's I did, some wild shit. I went shit. a little bit into that rabbit hole myself. And yeah. after I saw the thing on Rogan, I'd heard something about it before, but then I'm like, Joan Rivers, like everybody knows. Isn't Joan Rivers the one that held the Trump head and was like, Oh, my bad. I didn't know it was serious. Isn't that her? I thought that was, um, Somebody else. I don't know. Either. Joan Rivers had, had had passed away years ago. Um, she passed away before 2016. I don't know who I'm thinking of then. Oh, that's not who I was thinking of for sure. You were thinking of um, I don't know, whatever the fuck her name is. I can't think of her name, but she had a talk, daytime talk show for a long time. Yeah, daytime talk show. Trump head. Kathy Griffin. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they have a similar jawline. Yeah. Um, but she was having, um, Joan Rivers was having plastic surgery. And, it uh, looks like it. She had a lot of it. And she would tell you <laughs> that, too. She would tell you, absolutely, she had a lot. Yeah. But she was having it, and uh, uh, apparently her um, anesthesiologist was so excited, he took a selfie with her while she was under. Not very professional. No, and, and showed was, it to people because people know about it. Yeah, and in that like surgery, she had complications and she didn't make it. And a lot of the blame has been put was put on him. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. <sighs> like I was gonna say, like if that's something you do, with, like anesthesia or doctor or whatever, like, and you want to like maybe family, like I don't even know that I would tell family, but at that point you're just keeping it for yourself, and that's creepy. Yeah. Of like take a picture with them, but you can like, hey, I operated on so and so. Yeah, like, well, I mean, you could actually, chances are, Joe never would be like, oh, yeah, you can put a picture of me in your office or something like that. Yeah, or like but before or after the surgery and be like, hey, can I get a selfie with you? And oh, absolutely, you did. But when the, person's un, un, uh, when the person's under anesthesia, you don't just take a picture with them. Yeah, no. That's ridiculous. I learned that on I, Horrible I, Bosses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jennifer Aniston can, t- can take pictures of me all <laughs> <laughs> she can do those things to me. I'm fine. I'd rather be awake for it though. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie. It's so good. That one and the second one are still both good. Like it's, I told you before, Charlie the, Day wrote them. That's one of the ones that, like, the sequel, like, they might not be as good as each other, but they're both really fucking good. Yeah. Oh, speaking of a movie that has a good sequel, um, not the third one, but the second one's really good. Bad Boys. 
Yeah. And apparently they have a fourth one. Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2 are both really good. Bad Boys 2 I actually like better than the first one, and I love the first one. Uh, Bad Boys for Life was eh. It I wasn't as good. But hopefully the fourth one will be great. I, th- I like those two together. I thought they already had. No, they they had three. And I saw something about what looked like. I they, just figured like following the. Ride or die. The Fast and the Furious thing of like Bad Boys for Life. That's the fourth one. Bad Boys. It's bad Boys, Ride or Die. Movies. Bad Boys. Oh, yeah. Nope. You're right. And yeah, that's coming out soonish. And of course, I, I need to watch Dune too. I found it. Oh, I so haven't... if you have three hours to kill, have you seen the first one? No. Uh, I might watch the first one again too. But when I say I haven't watched the first one, hours. I mean I haven't watched the first one of these ones. Yeah, because I'd seen the original <clears throat> Dune oh, movie. That's, it's so much better. It had had Sting in it, and it had so much better. Yeah, that was. It it had high hopes when it was coming out. I remember. Yeah. But no. Nope. And apparently, everybody. Like almost anybody who's seen it that is of critic or like reviewer or anything says that the second one is way fucking better than the first one. And the first one was like amazing. I just want to ride one of those worms. I mean, there's a lot of people that get to ride them. Yeah, well. From the inside. Oh, I want to ride it from the outside. Oh. Uh, yeah. There's a couple people. Seems like it'd be fun. Yeah. You know. I might watch that tonight. I mean, I've ridden an elephant. Why not a worm? Oh, speaking of worms, I just uh, listened to a book. Of Holy. worms? Well, there was worms in it. Okay. But these worms were, um, the dude was doing research to make what would be called a um, diet pill. Help people lose a lot of weight quickly. Yeah. But at the same time that he was working on this diet pill, he was really working on uh, on um, weaponized versions of this worm. And um, what this worm would do... And... To use as diet pills? No. Um, oh, he was just using that as a front. Yeah. Okay. And what these worms would do when they would get into people? Horrific. Just absolutely horrific. But help them lose weight. Oh, yeah. They lost a lot of weight, but not in a pleasant way. Well, that's people are like, oh, I have to lose this much weight. I'm like, okay, chop a, chop a leg off. You'll lose like 60 pounds quick. Oh, well, I don't want to. I'm like, okay. So it does matter. It doesn't matter how. Yeah. Because they're all yeah. like, I don't care how. Like, I have to. And I'm like, okay, here's this. Okay. Um, like, obviously joking. I'm not going to fucking tell somebody to chop their legs off. I feel like I have to say that I, I, in this I like day to, and age. I, 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 this is not advice. I, I like to say that well, you can always start math. I don't know. <laughs> so I've seen some fat methies recently. Yeah, me too. So, I don't know. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, this it, it like at one point it was eating out the back of the guy's eyeballs. Wow. Yeah, and it, it, it's they're they're like tapeworms, but they don't stay in the intestinal tract; they go everywhere. That's they just weird. Keep, they just keep re, they just keep producing more and more of them. So to try to eat to keep up with what they need to eat to live, because they won't let you have any of the nutrition. Yeah. Well, you can't so keep up with it because there's so many of them. Well, and where does? Keep, because I mean, like energy consumed isn't energy lost. So where does the excrement go of the worms eating? Does it say? It's in there. It's in the body. Oh, so how is weight being lost? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. But it's just it's devouring their insides, their organs, everything. Mm. So speak like since we're on movies and plot holes and weird, we're not on. It was plot a good holes, book. But, so, but it was disturbing. I just watched a movie called Someone Like You. With my girlfriend. It's a pretty good movie. It's a, mm. like a love story kind of thing and this and that, but massive plot hole within the first like 20 minutes. Yeah. Of this guy is best friends with this chick from high school and he's in love with her, been in love with her fucking forever. And she's been dating everybody else and whatever. And finally, it's like almost his chance. And her mom needs a replacement kidney. And if spoiler alert for anybody that doesn't want to hear shit about someone like you skip like i don't know to the end of the episode <laughs> and so she's she gets tested and she's like i'm a match for my mom for replace my kidney and I'm like okay so she already set up a date to like give her one of her kidneys then she gets hit by a truck and rush her to the hospital they're doing surgery and she dies 
So, okay. She's already signed up, already done everything yeah. to make sure she's a fucking donor. So you're and, it's, and it's her mom. Like, so it's not a, oh, well, she didn't release whatever. Like, next of kin options, I think, are available, even if they're not organ donors. Yeah. In extenuating circumstances, something can be done. But, so, come to find out, she was in vitro, and there was a second embryo, like, forever ago, that the lover boy tracked down, like, who the embryo went to, and it was a twin but it was cryogenically frozen for several years. So she's like four years younger. She's 24 instead of 28. And he goes and finds her. And because he was never with the sister of like, he showed her everything about her. She didn't, they didn't know about each other because they didn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. And like, he showed her of the original sisters, like whole life and everything. And like, this is this. And she's like, were you in love with her? And he's like, yeah. Like, so were you two together? And they're like, no. So like they bonded and like had this whole thing of like, like I stopped seeing her a long time ago. Now I just see you and oh, adorable. And then you find out that the mom's still sick, still needs kidneys. And obviously this new sister is also matched and gives her one of her kidneys. The first one fucking died. Pull those kidneys. You can have two. Yeah, two. You and then one. it can still be an adorable movie. Ador Freeze one for like, later. It can still be a great love story. It can still be whatever. And like, oh, your sister that you never met lives on through your, your mom, your biological mom, because, and then it's this whole new angle of whatever. It's a, based on a Karen Kingsbury like novel of I, whatever. I know you said it's like, a good movie, but that just sounds But old. that, <laughs> as know. soon as I fucking saw that, I'm like, how, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been right on board with you. But uh, yeah, that does not sound that great. Yeah, like the rest of it was was pretty good. Like there was some cheesy acting, like because it was uh, a no. It's not a no studio, but it's like one of the low budget, like the like Sound of Freedom. I think it's the same studio, of like no major backing. Like they did whatever themselves and like everything, done whatever. Well, when you said the title though, it made me think of I was talking to somebody about uh, Twenty Three and Me, and he says to me, um, "Yeah, I don't want to do that because I don't want somebody to get in my you know DNA." And he's like. Imagine somebody making a bunch of clones at you. I'm like, well, it'd be a fucking better world, wouldn't it? A oh, bunch I thought of me running around. Yeah, I thought That'd you were be... like talking about him. Like, my so, question would have been, who the fuck wants to make clones of you? I'm like, um, I'm like most people that would ask that question. Like, nobody's gonna try to make clones of you, bro. Well, when he said that to me, he's like, imagine somebody making clo a bunch of clones of you. I think it'd be dope. And I said, well, it'd be we'd be living in a better world. Yeah, more of me would be better. Yeah. That'd... Then we could just have them do the podcast all the time and yeah. just sit back and they could do on site podcasts. It's just like uh just like Kiss used to want to do. They wanted a franchise. No, it's band. just like Family Guy when Stewie and Brian made clones so that they could not have to do anything and then yeah. they just went bad. Yeah. Uh well that's it for ninety nine. So leave a couple of notes for for Big Hundred and I'll check TikTok again to see if magically the live button came up. Uh, be sure to like, follow, subscribe, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Some Offense Intended, and TikTok and Twitter X stuff at Some Offense Pod. And talk to you next time. Goodbye.